Okay, we're going to look at resistant motion where the particle is going up. So that's plus, that's minus. The weight is mg and the resistance force is mkv squared. So it's actually proportional to v squared, not to v. So when we're looking at this case scenario, the sum of the forces is equal to minus mkv squared minus mg. And mass times acceleration will equal minus kv squared minus mg. The m's will go out and you end up with x double dot is minus kv squared plus g. All right, so if I'm after the actual max height, then I need to use d, d, v times dv on dx of minus kv squared plus g. Collect the v's together, so you get kv squared plus g dv equals minus 1 dx. Now I'm going to integrate, so we're going to go from the end point. So we start at mu to 0 to get the max height, and from 0 up to the max height, which is h. Because when you think about this is x is 0, this will be x is h, and the particle's going up. V starts at mu and V finishes at zero. Now, this first one here is just a log. There really should be a two in there and a half. So it's a half lin K V squared plus G. And that is from mu to zero. And this is minus X. And that's from zero to big H. So it's a half lin zero plus G minus a half lin k mu squared plus g equals minus h minus minus zero. So it's a half lin g minus lin k mu squared plus g equals minus h. If you flip that around, that would be and change the sign k mu squared plus g minus lin g equals h. So the max height h will be a half lin k mu squared plus g over g, which sometimes you'll see it written as a half lin k mu squared on g plus 1 when you split the denominators. So that.